I was not prepared. I was not prepared for NAM 2024. I was not prepared for 70,000 people under one convention center roof. I was not prepared for random Jack Black sightings, Steven Tyler sightings, Corey Feldman sightings. I was not prepared for enough sound and noise to fill every guitar center in the nation. I was not prepared. But I'll probably go back. So it's been about two weeks, more or less, since Nam finished, and it was an amazing experience for me and my son. We went out, and we were there for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, we arrived late Wednesday night, just because nothing flies directly from Oklahoma City. We had to go through Denver, and our Denver to um, Orange County flight was full. So we had to end up going through Sacramento first to get there. But we finally got there late Wednesday night, got everything prepared, and we hit the floor Thursday morning just like everybody else. We had the same you know, short lanyards just like everybody else. Um, 10 o'clock hit, and we just were, it was just overwhelming. You know, it, was, it was almost a 15-minute walk just to get back to the Ernie Ball booth and the Boss booth. Just to, you know, weeding through all of the people that were there, you know, 60,000, 70,000 people. Um, just, just crazy amount of people. Um, we did a couple of, we did a couple of sessions Thursday morning. We had a couple of sessions every, every day. Um, and it was just, it was just amazing. So yeah, I've got the same pictures of guitars and, you know, the purple piano pictures with Andy Timmons, John Petrucci. Um, we, it's the same pictures and content that, that everybody else has. Um, I was also not prepared for the amount of folks walking around with, you know, small rigs or carts with cameras or, you know, dedicated folks with full gimbal backpacks and battery backpacks. And, um, I just had my iPhone and I would just literally just hold it up whenever I saw something that might've been interesting, whether it was a mob of folks watching Jason Richardson play with the violinist or just the number of people walking away from the, uh, the check-in booth to get your badge and your lanyard. Um, so I've got the same footage more or less that everybody else has. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just roll the footage.
really cool feature called Groove AI. That's kind of what we're showing today. Uh, Groove AI is kind of like having your own personal pro drummer to play really cool drum parts for your music. So for instance, we can start really simple. So with Groove AI, we got Groove AI here. This is the SSD5 instrument. What kit do we have loaded up, Jamie? The Deluxe 2 Alternative. All right, this is a really cool kit. So Jamie, I want you to kind of get creative. We're going to go to Groove AI. With the step sequencer here, he can kind of just pencil in a, like a kick snare beat. And watch what's happened. So he's got a kick on the one there, a snare on the one there. And Groove AI shows you all of these different grooves that match that, that, that uh, step sequence. Give me a little, this will be a little more complex and watch what happens. So he's got now a snare there. And as you can see, so let's choose one of these grooves real quick and kind of see how much it matches. Okay, so that's kind of cool. But here's the cooler part of Groove AI. Groove AI, you can load your own guitar or bass tracks into it and it will compose a groove that adheres to that track. Sean Big Nerd Studios here with my son Christopher. Zach Christopher, hello. Wrapping up our first day of NAM. I'm exhausted. Over 10,000 steps for sure. You can see the pretty lights and everything. Uh, Christopher, where are we heading? Uh, to see Felix Martin. To see Felix Martin. I think he plays at 6 o'clock or something. So we're going to go head out and see him. And then um, probably going to go get some food at Cheesecake Factory or something. So I've got a bunch of pictures I'll upload and attach to this video and uh, we will uh, see what day two stores has in store for us. Thanks everybody.
number of people trying to watch Jason Richardson is just ridiculous. That's everybody in front of the booth. All right, last day of Nam. Last day of Nam. There's a uh, there's an elusive Jack Black here somewhere, so I think we're gonna try to find him today. Um, Andy Timmons is here, so I wouldn't mind finding him. Got a couple of sessions on mixing and uh, MIDI 2.0 orchestration articulations, which is gonna be kind of cool. And then we got dinner at Cheesecake Factory tonight, and then flight starting at uh, two o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So. It's gonna be a day. Will I face your world when I All right, folks, it's the last night of Nam. We uh, just left Cheesecake Factory for dinner. Walking back to the hotel. I'm exhausted, full. A great, great day, great trip. Super overwhelming. Got lots of, lots of pictures and some videos that I'm gonna compile together on a, on a, you know, big nerd coverage of Nam 24 and some thoughts. There was some stuff around MIDI 2.0 that's really interesting that's coming up this year. Um, there's some technical stuff that's kind of confusing. And it's going to be interesting how we're going to, how we, how the MIDI Association is going to solve it. Um, but I'll cover that in uh, probably in a separate video at some point. So um, thanks for everybody that was following on Instagram and Facebook, and uh, we'll uh, hopefully get some content coming out from from the NAM results, hopefully here in the coming weeks. Thanks. So yeah, I, I appreciate y'all watching the, what little big nerd coverage I had of NAM 2024. Hopefully when, if I get to go back next year, which I plan on it, um, I'll have a little bit more opportunity um, in a plan in my head of how I want to, how I want to cover it. You know, I would have loved to have talked to, you know, Sean Tubbs a little bit more about Rev, the, uh, the, and the 10th anniversary um, amps that were released literally right before name happened um so thanks for watching please make sure you hit that like and subscribe um trying to grow the channel so um every every little bit of support i can get would help 
So I appreciate it. Thanks.